All right, this is 5th grade, Module 2, Lesson 17, where we are going to be using some basic facts to do some estimation uh, with division. Now, the key thing with estimating is, <laughs> you know, we need to be flexible with what we consider the right answer. So, uh, as we're going through this um, video, make sure you take all my answers with a grain of salt, that it is perfectly fine or understandable for students to estimate in a slightly different way, thereby getting a different quotient as their estimation. So in this slide, we're being told we need to estimate the quotient, and uh, we're using those basic facts that students came up with, or students already know. For example, this first example that's already been given for us, so I'm going to expand that, that 800 divided by 40. So we're going to start with 800 divided by 40. And we're going to do that in a couple of steps. So first I'm going to take that 800 and I'm going to divide by 10. Then I'm going to divide by 4. So 800 divided by 10 from all of our previous work we've learned is 80. And then 80 divided by 4 is 20. So that's how we get 20. Students might not be able to go from 800 divided by 40 to 20 all in one step. Feel free to let them do it in two steps. So let's practice that. So 617 divided by 23. Man, there's a couple of ways we could do this. Um, one way might be to say, well, let's do 600 divided by 20. There's our estimation, and I'm going to break this up into two steps. I'm going to say, okay, that's 600 divided by 10 divided by 2. So 600 divided by 10 gives us 60. 60 divided by 2 gives us 30. So there's my estimation. Of course, there's other ways we could have estimated. We could have estimated this to be 620 divided by, and then change 23 to 20, and done the math, and um, done our similar steps, we would have ended up with a slightly different estimated quotient, and that's okay, too. Uh, let's do problem C. 821 divided by 39. I think what I'm going to do is round this down to 800, and round 39 up to 40. So we're going to do 800 divided by 10, divided by 4. So 800 divided by 10 gives us 80. And then 80 divided by 4 gives us 20. And there's my estimation. And in our final example for this video, we have Mrs. Johnson. And she spent $611 buying lunch for 78 students if all the lunches were the same cost, so that means we're allowed to divide, how much did she spend on each lunch? All right, so the idea is we know that the basic problem is 611 divided by 78. And now we're going to round and, or do some estimation. So I'm going to call that 78. I'm going to call that 80. Now let's see. One idea, I could take that 611, I could bump it up to some sort of multiple of 8, right? So 8 times 8 is 64. So I can round it up to 640. So now we'd have 640 divided by 10 divided by 8, which gives us 64 divided by 8, which is 8. So about $8 per lunch. That's one way to do it. Now, another way we could have done it is we could have said, well, let's see. Let's start with that 611 divided by 78. We could have done 611 down to 600 and then divide. Uh, then let's change 78 to, oh, let's do 80. Okay, so we could do 600 divided by 10 divided by 8. So this ends up being 60 divided by 8. So I want you to notice over here we had 600, uh, 64 divided by 8, but now we've got 60 divided by 8. So that's going to give us a different estimation simply because over here we rounded and estimated it to 640, which for some 5th graders might be fairly arbitrary, while over here we did more of a traditional estimation 
but it's going to give us a slightly different um, technique right down here. So we know 8 times 7 is 56. So we know 8 times 7 is 56, and we know that 8 times 8 is 64. So we could say, eh, we know that the answer is somewhere between 7 and $8 per lunch. That's a different way to estimate the same problem. And that is Grade 5, Module 2, Lesson 17.